is the dragster I just completed milling out. This is exactly the one that's on the toolpath uh, videos that I put up on YouTube. So that's the car that I ultimately want you to mill. Well, Alex has got a different design, and so we're going to mill that. On the CNC, uh, Techno CNC Patriot, its USB port is right here, and it's connected to our computer that's running um, that's running uh, the Techno Patriot software here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we got that in there. First thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and take Alex's files. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to come over here to my, my uh, file folder my, right, that I have right here. I'm going to go out to my computer and I'm going to find Alex's uh, toolpath. Now, I can't see that real well, so I'll go details and I'll sort by date modified. So in date modified, you see these two files here. I'll, I'll try to uh, see if we can show that. Let me, let me do a, go up to uh, icons here. So in icons here, you've got Alex uh, Kumar's files here. And this was the file that got created. Let me switch back to details. So Alex has got this file here. Alex uh, Kumar dragster left 001 NC. I'll select that file, right mouse click, and copy it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my folder where I have all my work. So I'm going to come up here to our, our TSA folder right here. It says 2016 TSA. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to create a new folder for Alex Kumar. So I got Alex, K-U-M-A-R, hit enter. I'll open that up. And then I'll just do a right mouse click and paste in Alex's file here. So there it is. And we'll come back to this in a moment and load it into the control software. Let's get Alex's block loaded. So what I've done here is I took and put a piece of sandpaper on the end of this. And the reason I put this piece of sandpaper over my kind of fake uh, mouse pad is I use it to kind of sand down the front of the block. If you look real close here on this car we just milled out, I have to, it's kind of a compression fitting. So I kind of sand it down a little bit on both sides to get it where it'll mount in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll take this block. I'll hold it level, and I'll just go up and down gently. Because this is balsa wood. It's real, real uh, light wood. It's real, tin it's real, uh, you know, real soft, so it doesn't take much to sand it. So I've kind of sanded a, an edge here and an edge here and an edge here. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I have two pieces of wood that I'm going to actually use to put this in the, into the... Uh, into the fixture. Now it's real important. Here's our fixture. This dowel rod will go into the shaft here, and then if Alex can kind of swing around, you'll see the front of the fixture right here. This is where the dragster's nose is going to go in. So we're going to mill out the left side first, so I need to rotate this over because we just milled out the right side. So I'll take this Allen wrench here and I'll rotate this over to the other side. I'll hold it flush and then I'll tighten it up. You don't have to tighten it really tight, just snug like that. Then I'll take the dragster and flip this over on the left side, pull the dowel rod out, and I'll go ahead and pre-position it into the hole. I'll use both hands to kind of get in there tight. Now then what I'll do is I'll take the, the dowel rod here, the aluminum dowel rod, and I'll line it up with the back of the block, as you can see here, and I'll push it all the way in. Now, you think that it's all the way in, but it's really not. So what I'll do is I'll take this piece of wood here, and I'll take my router tool, and I'll go ahead and I'll press it in even further. So that way the car's in very, very snug, and it's not going to shake out of the block. The last thing I need to do is go ahead and take this Allen wrench uh, here and tighten up the nut on this back, uh, right, tighten up the screw on the back of this dowel rod, get that kind of snug. We verified the car's in very snug, it looks great, it's wonderful. Now, we'll put our tools back, and we'll move the dragster out and get this ready to sand. And what we're going to do now is we've got our file here loaded in our, our folder we created for Alex. I'll take my trusty sanding thing here, flip it upside down, come back over here, and we'll go to Techno Patriot. Now, I've already got this one file loaded up. Let me kind of show you what it looks like. This is a file that we created uh, using my tutorials on YouTube. That's what the tool file looks like that gets generated by Camworks. And as you can tell, this is the left side. It incorporates, excuse me, the right side. It incorporates the roughing pattern you see here within the contain. And then it shows here in blue the actual uh, fine tool path as it cuts it out. It starts at the very end, comes all the way to the front. All right, we'll load up Alex's file right now. Let's exit that, we'll go file. 
Now, I'll double click on this, come down to the 2016-2017 TSA folder. I'll find Alex Kumar, and that's his folder, and there's his dragster. We hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit one line of code. See right here where it says Tool 54, and it's going to an M6? I'm going to take that code out because I don't need it. I'm going to File Save here, and then I'll exit back to where I saved it back to where I had it. I'll exit this. Now, what's important is I've got to get this file processed and loaded into the controller. So I'm going to go do a pre-process, and as you can see, it's processing Alex's file. And I'm going to go preview that file. It looks like he did a pretty good tool path. All right. So you can see all in green what looks to be like your roughing pattern. I guess you got you went linear with your uh, fine pattern. That's okay. We'll figure this out. So we'll go ahead and say exit. And now that it's loaded, we're going to go ahead down here and say go to XY0 to make sure we're actually in the right location. So I'll say go to XY0, not origin. If I would go to origin, it would come over here and, and go to XY and then drill down into the block. We don't want that. We just want to go to XY to make sure we're in the right position. So we'll say go to XY0, go. As you can see, the mill's moving and it's coming to where we think XY is located. It looks like Alec found that. Okay, we'll put our hand down here on the uh, e-stop, in case we have to emergency stop it. I'm gonna pull out Alex's uh, thumb drive and give it back to him. So now I got my hand ready. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. He's milling out the axle hose. 